at G10 in 2018 in Las Vegas, Nevada. We've encountered the African Custom Knives from Africa organization, I think is probably the best way to explain it. And we've got Nathan, who is a representative from the company. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, how are you? Good, good, good. Listen, you, uh, we just met and we just talked a little bit. Sure. Um, and apparently, one of your first clients, if you will, yeah. is uh, a man and one of his sons that I interviewed a few years ago. So sure, yeah, Arno Bernard, yeah. Yeah, yeah great I, guy. I worked for Arno for probably almost five years. And no uh, just doing fixed blades, and I love it. it. They make a great product, and they bring it to the, we've been able, I, I was able to help them multiply their business 10 times. No kidding. And so what that did, and that, so that success that we did with them was uh, kind of translated. So about 2016, about two years ago, we decided, okay, let's open up to some of the other makers because they were coming to us periodically over the years. Hey, can you help me import this uh, product into the States? Or can you can you get some material, United States material and ship it back to me over here? So we were kind of helping them already. Um, and then we decided, okay, let's really do it. Let, let's, there's already some guys that really want us to help. So we, uh, we got about six makers and we, we went to Africa. And we said, look, here's what we want to do. We want to launch this website. We want to do this, we want to do this. And we want to help you reach the American market. You morphed it into like a whole business model, if you will. Right. And so we took what we did with one maker, we expanded it. Now we have over 50 South African makers. Actually, more than South Africa, but most of them come from South Africa, 90% of them. Right. And, uh, and we were able to say, now we've helped, I think the last count was 57. Don't want me to that. Nolan, my brother, who's my business partner, would know better. He knows right. that, some of that. But uh, I just help guys. What do you need from me? We're able to help you reach the market. And, uh, and the, Out of curiosity, how's Arno and his family doing? They're doing great. I haven't, I haven't heard from them since. So, well, actually, I didn't go to Africa. A couple weeks ago, my brother went to Africa uh, for the Guild Show. So we try to go over there a couple times a year. Yeah. Um, but I had my 15-year wedding anniversary. So I ah, ended up staying salute. here. Salute. Congratulations. Yeah, so my, me and my wife went on vacation for the guild, during the Guild Show. So, no, why didn't you just take her to South Africa? She, she, well, she wanted to go, actually. Uh -huh. We had already made a trip planned. And, uh, and so uh, I love going over there. I love meeting the African makers. I love seeing the new stuff that they're doing. And that's why they need somebody like us to advocate for them for the, right. to the American guys. Right. Hey, they have great work. You can yeah, let's, see the Let's go ahead and go down here and, and chant along some of these. These are some examples of some of the makers and designers that you represent. Rion Mitsir, three-legged dog. I mean, this guy makes great user knives. Um, the, the, you know, you'll see he uses a great quality um, a, a steel, so he'll use M390, he'll use, um, uh, uh, what is it, L-Max, he'll use great steel, but it's a user knife, you know, with G10, great pocket clip, and uh, just a, a, you know, excellent knife. George Mueller's now, been making... And I, and I, don't, sure. uh, I don't want to put you on the spot in sure. any way. Uh, do you know price points for their knives, or are they, are they handling the sale themselves? Most of the time, they're setting their price points. Okay. Now they get advice from us, because we, are, hey, look, I talked to the, these customers in um, in the America, and here's approximately because we compare it to to the other American makers. But for the most part, what you're going to get with an African knife maker is value. They have a lot of the same, like they'll use the IKBS system, they'll use uh, ceramic bearings, they'll use uh, high quality steels, they'll use exotic handle materials, but then you're gonna get it approximately 20 to 30% less than what you would get an American maker to make that same knife. And that's because of the currency conversion. Right, and a yeah. lot of, and, and, they're, and they're happy to do that because they know what they offer, the value they offer to the market. And so we just say, hey look, let's help, now you expand your market, the American market, but, but showing off what you do, you know. Okay. A lot of them, a lot of makers do this. You know this just from the American makers. They don't, they they don't get on Instagram and do pictures. They don't do it. They just make knives. I'm gonna make a knife, and I'm, and then they're hoping somebody will buy it. But they don't, they don't do the promotion. So right. what we do is a lot of the marketing, a lot of the promotion, a lot okay. of the building websites. Well, in the in that vein, instead of going into price point and all of the individual makers that you have, sure. Uh, for for the lack of a better word, that you have on display here. And right. of course, you've got some folks that are looking at that, and I don't want to interrupt with that. No but basically, that's what the foundation of, of what 
Custom Knives from Africa is all about. Yeah, Africa Custom Knives is really just about us helping knife makers from Africa reach the American market. Now I'm going to pan across this in a moment and let you talk to some of these gentlemen that came up to the table. Sure. But if they, if someone's interested in one of these makers, do they go to? Uh, well, they, they go, go to, to the website. AfricaCustomNives.com. Right, yeah. Okay. Find Where's us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, find us on YouTube. You know, you can, we, no we're idea. doing videos for these guys. I mean, what you're doing now is, is a little what we do. Right. Except we get interviews with the makers and we, we talk about what they do and how and they do the it. And cool, that's the, the same cool thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Well, listen, like I said, I'm just going to pan across this sure. and let you talk to these guys. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. My good pleasure. luck with you. Sure. Yeah. Okay? Take care. You too. Oh. I can see like the guy from 127 hours. Uh -huh. I can, I'm sorry, I have to do it.